there is so much conflicting advice out there about whether you should actively teach your baby to sit up or not. So we're going to address that in the course of this video, what you can do to help your baby, what you most definitely should not do, and once they're confidently sitting up, little games and activities that you can do to help improve their balance and stability. Before we get into the video, don't forget to subscribe to this channel for much more baby development related content. In fact, this video is one of a playlist of many videos about different aspects of your baby's development. And if you do like this video, then please do give it a like down below. It means the world to me and it really does help out my channel. Babies normally sit up between six to nine months. However, this can be as early as four months or as late as around 10 months, depending on your individual child, especially if they were premature. So before sitting, there are a few things that your baby needs to have practiced before they can do so. And the first one is head control. If they have a spaghetti neck, as my husband used to call it when ours were little, then they're probably not ready for any kind of independent sitting or sitting even with support. But of course you can do a head prop with your hands like this, where you hold your baby on your lap and prop their head with your and support their neck with your hands. That's a really great thing to do. Good for eye contact and bonding and your babies love that and there's absolutely nothing wrong with it at all. They will also need to have a degree of core strength developed to be able to start sitting up, although obviously this will continue to develop over time. The two main things that you can do to develop core strength and head control are floor time on the back, and tummy time. I have a video all about tummy time activities, especially for ones if your baby hates tummy time, so I'll leave that linked down below for you. Once your baby is around the four, four and a half, five month mark, they may be able to start sitting up with your support. So when they are sitting on your lap, you can hold them on this part of their body, like the trunk of their body around their rib cage. I'm just going to let my baby's legs go, but imagine that he's sitting up on the floor. You can hold them here and that gives them lots of support for sitting. You will just do this automatically while they're sitting on your knee, while you're out at a cafe or you're chatting with friends or you're at home playing either this way or facing you this way. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with doing that at all. It's in fact really good for your baby to develop that core strength and also to have that lovely bonding time with you because they can look at you and see you as you play together. When they're in this position, you can use lap rhymes to really help to develop those core strength skills and that sitting position skill. I have lots of baby play videos and baby classes that you can use to help you with that. Around El Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. Once they get a little bit better, at sitting, you don't have to hold them here anymore, but you can in fact start holding them at their hips. And that means that they just have to use that core strength a little bit more. As you're doing lap rhymes and you're kind of bobbling them around a little bit, that's also going to really help with that sense of balance, stability and coordination for their body too. You will find that your baby will start at some point to sit independently, but probably what they will do is start to lean forwards and they will use their hands to prop themselves up on the floor. This is a really normal thing for babies to do. It's a stage of their development and it's okay to leave them in that position for a few seconds, but bear in mind that it's a very tiring thing for them to do and babies at this stage won't have great balance so they may well topple over so make sure that the area around them is nice and soft you can even sit with your legs in a v-shape around your baby so that they can topple onto your legs if they do so and then once they've done that for a few seconds make sure that you give them lots of time on their back or on their tummy free floor time so that they don't get too tired out or you can just start to hold them and support them again it is really quite important to not start using supports for your baby to sit up at this stage. And I know that some people suggest this, but the reason that using things like nursing pillows, bumbo seats, boppy pillows, anything like that, the reason that they are bad for your baby is because when they haven't got these core muscles developed to sit independently, those seats are actually holding them in a funny position. So they don't develop their muscles as they should do. And then that's obviously going to impede and impact on them sitting up independently with nothing holding onto them. I know that it's really useful to have things like a bumbo seat to put your baby in while uh, you're doing things around the house. And I completely get that. They are fine once your baby 
can sit up fully independently, so around six months plus, but it's better actually to leave your baby in a safe space on the floor or even in a bouncer where they're more reclined while you're doing your five minutes making your cup of tea or whatever, rather than leaving them in something that keeps them in this kind of seated position without giving them the correct support. I think that there are a plethora of videos out there and if you want to go and check them out there are many many that will tell you how to teach your baby, actively teach your baby to sit up. But I want to tell you that this is a really normal skill, it's a life skill that they will all learn to do on their own. So you don't actually need to do any specific sitting up activities because naturally throughout the course of the day you will be holding your baby in that seated position on your lap while you're chatting to people or while you're playing with them. If you are aware of that and you think that they're starting to develop that sitting skill a bit more then of course by all means move your hands from here to around their hips just to kind of help them develop that core strength a little bit more but even if you forget they will still do it. You don't need to teach them. The best thing that you can do for your baby during this time is actually giving them free floor movement time so either on their back or on their tummy because that is how they're going to develop their head and their neck strength, their shoulder strength, their core strength. When they're on their tummy and they're lifting up their head, they're developing all these muscles here. When they're on their back and they're lifting up their legs, they're developing their core strength. And all of those things will build together to make your baby able to sit up independently without you actively teaching them to do so. Once your baby is sitting up a little bit more confidently, they will still be wobbly. <laughs> and likely to fall over. So what you can do to help develop that balance is to, when you sit them down, sit them in front of something that they enjoy looking at. That could be something like a high contrast pattern, a picture or a favorite toy, but make sure that it's at eye level because if it's down here, of course, they're going to lean forwards or if it's slightly over there, they're going to lean to the side to try and get it and then they will topple over. So have something at eye level while they build that balance and stability. Once they start getting more confident with their balance, you will notice that they start reaching out for things and being able to keep that sitting position a little bit better. So then you can start to do reaching games while they're sitting. You could do things like taping toys onto the wall in front of them so they can reach forwards and grab them. One of our favorite things to do was to get toilet roll tubes and put a muslin or a piece of material into each one the tubes get taped up on the wall in front of them and then they can reach forwards and pull the material out of each tube. You could even have them extended so that they have to reach to the sides to do so and actually when they're crossing their arms over their body like this it's called crossing the midline which means that their two sides of their brain are joining up to help with that balance stability and coordination as well after sitting your baby will be ready for crawling so check out this video to watch all about that don't forget to subscribe for more baby development videos just like this one and i will see you next time bye everyone <laughs>